Hello, this is Sammy, our office manager. Today we are going to show you how to prepare the offer. We have some new agent, old agent in the business for a few years. But the, new, the tribe, they, they have a new view of the website. So lots of people will get stuck. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare the offer. Okay, let's start. First, we click the search property from the new MLS system from uh, the main page, click search property. Second one, find the listing you want to prepare the offer. So I will choose it, random choose anyone. So the listing is you, your client, you shoot it to your client. Your client has said, I want to put the offer for this property. So let me choose one listing. Okay, for example, this listing, you want to prepare the offer. So how we are going to start? First is go to web form. Can you see the from the above the picture is called web form authentication. Click. Once you click, they will pop up new window. The name template. So remember to choose template. The template is all office. We create a few template from 001 to 005. So this is a freehold. So we choose 001A is a freehold offer for house car offsite. If you have a condominium, you can choose 002. If you have a lease, you can choose 003 for residential lease and a commercial lease, commercial buying. Uh, and also we have a listing. If you have listing, you can choose from here. All right, let's uh, choose 001A and uh, that's it. Just uh, click create. Once you click, click create, the transaction has been created. Okay, let's wait for load. The first and the fast way is to click the right side. There's a call the forms. People, the different people use different ways. Some people write, that like use next, next, and fill all the information. But I will uh, suggest you go to use the forms. That's very, very fast and straightforward. Click the forms, you would, uh, they will lead you to the, all the forms you need. First one, we are going to quickly go through how to fill the 801. It's called a offer summary. So all the information, the, this, the system is, has already been helped us to file, but uh, there's a one is called the date, today's date, you have to file, and uh, the buyer's name. And if you have more than one buyer, put the second buyer at uh, another space. Remember there's on the middle, they have and, the icon and. And uh, this offer was submit by fax, email, or in person. Usually it's an email. And uh, when you are going to send the offer, for example, we send it today, 1 p.m. And the next one is uh, irrevocable. When the offer will be uh, irrevocable by what time? So just click the date. Usually it's 24 hours by 11.59. That's it. We finish all the page for the 801. So we go to the second page, uh, just use the transaction forms. 100, just click 100. So the date is already filed in. The buyer's name, seller's name, the property address. And the next space is called friend on. We can find it from MLS. You see the friend on S, that means the source. S O U T H, source of. And the next we space is in the, this is a Markham. You see that this is a Markham, York region Markham. So we just write down city of Markham. And the front page dips, we need to put fit. So the price 
maybe the price you can did a CM, you can do CMA and the comparable marketing analysis and see how much the property will be worth. Uh, but anyway, I will leave blank here. Deposit usually usually is upon acceptance, and deposit is a five percent. It's a one million. It's a five percent. It's a fifty thousand. And the payable to most of people will forget. Just click listing brokerage and copy. Once you copy, you can paste to payable to the schedule. You can double check from here. They have a three. One is a floor plan. We can ignore schedule. <coughs> Schedule B, and the next one, schedule, is offer summary, forget about that. So we have a schedule B, we have a schedule A and B, irrevocability, and it's a by buyer. Most of people will make the mistake by seller, but it's a, actually it's by buyer. 1159. 24 hours until tomorrow. Completion date number two. Completion date we can check from the position date. Remark, usually it's 30, 60, that means uh, one or two months. So July, August, I will put August 31st. It's uh, almost like 60 days, two months, but this is not the final. You still the seller st may send back with another closing day. So you have to tell the buyer, this is the initially we draft the closing day for, uh, maybe the seller will have a need to talk to the seller. And the fax number, we need a copy from the fax number from here, listing brokerage fax number, or office fax number 905-305-1609. And the listing agency email. We can go to MLS, we click listing agent, we will find listing agency email. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. That's it. And the number four is chattels include. We find the extra from here. Copy and paste. Fridge, fridge, stove, dishwasher, range hood, washer, dryer, electronic light fixtures, furnace, hot water tank, rental. Of course, this is not belong to here. Rental is belong to number six, hot water tank rental. And uh, fixture not include, usually we put N slash A, that means not applicable. Number seven, HSD, include in. And the number eight, title search. Title search usually is two weeks before the closing. <coughs> we find that two weeks before the closing is the 31st, two weeks is the 17th. <coughs> the property use <coughs> is called single, FAM family, ASD. residential. All of those we don't need for all the information. We just go to number page six for schedule A. Schedule A is already, we, our office we already help our, every agent in a template, we load schedule A. You don't need to find out which class you need to insert. There's two conditions, standard condition. One is for finance, five banking days after I accept the offer. Second one is for the inspection, five banking days after I accept the offer. So this is two is condition. You need a waiver to waive it. Other than that, it's all the warranty and the clause. Okay, so we quickly finish the f second forms. We go to the third forms, uh, call printing confirmation. We same. If we switch form, we need to go above. There's an icon called transaction forms, homes icon. Click. We switch to the third form. Confirmation and there's a page one. We only check listing brokerage represent the seller A and the one. For other than that, we are 
not usually to use, so just leave blank. And the page number two is a call operating brokerage represent a buyer, and the commission is as per MLS listing. Or you can go to here check 2.5 plus HSD. Same thing. And uh, of course you have to put uh, listing brokerage and uh, their address and the agent's name and the fax number, phone number. So take your time and uh, fill all the information. I wanted to do that in here. Switch to another form. 801-100-320 and Schedule B we will send it to listing brokerage and 810-300-630-635 we will leave to our office send it to deals department once the deal firmed we quickly go to 810 it's working with the realtor actually this is the first form we should let you let your client to file before you should uh, before you put the offer so here is the client name just uh, you know to retyping the buyer's name and uh, here is we represent the buyer and the seller side this is for buying so forget about the seller side we are just going to write the buyer if we represent the seller we will file, file this part brokerage home life landmark and the initial let the buyer initial here this is a the buyer is our client and the buyer signatures so we finish this working with realtor form and the next form is the 300 is called bra buyer represent agreement this is a very very important form please fill the form uh, the information buyers uh, the buyers uh, address and uh, when you take when you show the property with the buyer first time should the buyer write down the commencing date, write down the expiration date. Expiration date must be a equal or longer than the closing date. And the property type, residential. And the geography location. Usually we just put the city's name. And the commission, number two commission. Most of people will scare to put a number as 2.5 because the buyers, you know, the, the buyers think, oh, I have to pay you 2.5. Actually, you know, for the all the tra transactions, we purchase, we put the offer for the listing brokerage, the seller will pay the fees, brokerage fee to the bro uh, listing brokerage. Listing brokerage pay to our office. The buyer, you don't need to pay the 2.5 unless Usually, I have to use unless. Unless that means that unless the buyer see the property, they said, I really like the property. Can you go and ask a seller if they want to sell? So you probably go to the property, ask a seller, seller said, no, I'm not planning to sell. Maybe I want to sell, but I will not pay any fees. If that's in case, you have to come back to a buyer. You know, buyer won't pay any fees. But uh, do you agree to pay 2.5 person? I help you to, uh, to put the offer. But uh, this is a very rare situation. And the holdover, usually we put 90 days. That means after 90 days, if the buyer still come back to see the any property we showed before, we're still entitled to, uh, to ask the buyer to pay our fees. Okay, so that is where quickly we finish the buyer represent agreement and the 630 FinTrack individual identification form FinTrack. This is also very important form. And before we put the offer, at least before we put the offer, the salesperson name and the date today. I will suggest you now I'm prepared the offer for the buyer. I will ask the buyer, can you please quickly take a picture for your driver's license, whatever the any buyer, take the, all the all the pictures for the driver's license. If they have one, you put a one individual at, uh, identification form. If there's a two buyer, you need a, another set of the form. The reason I ask is that uh, usually you know, typing their the name, 
usually we type in error. So before the closing, maybe we find we will not find. So that's why we ask a buyer provide the photo ID, driver's license, maybe passport. We can double check every time. Double check, double check your buyer's name. Ask a buyer for your benefit and ask you please give me a copy. I want to make sure every information your name put on the title in your title in the future the property is correct. And the full legal name of the individual buyer's name, their address, date of birth, here. The nature of the principal business or occupation. So we need their title, job, ti job title. For example, they are the manager at McDonald. You have to write down manager of McDonald. The first is the title, the second one is the company name. If they are uh, like a student, they don't have a job, student. Then you have to go to the second page, third party, B2, third party. Write down their parents' name, either their father or mother's name, who provide the money for them. If there are the parents, write down parents' name, address, date of birth, occupation, and uh, relationship. You don't need their photo ID, but you have to ask them to provide out of information. Uh, A1 is uh, Photo ID. Photo ID is like a driver's license, uh, PR card, passport, and uh, Ontario photo card. But health card, Ontario health card, health card is not considered as a photo ID. In case your client can, uh, cannot provide A1 photo ID, you need to go to A2. So. If your client already have a photo ID, you can skip A2 and A3. If they cannot provide A1, you need to go A2. If you cannot get A2, you need to go A3. So it's not mandatory to fill all the information, but at least mandatory for the A1. Okay, so that is the first page. Second page we already mentioned is a third party. If they don't have a job, they need who provide the funds for them. And uh, page three is the client risk. That means you choose the client is a citizen, residential, uh, the residence or not. Or if there is a student or foreign worker, so you can choose a foreign citizen or residence. So choose one. And the last page is for the business relation. Choose the use. Like uh, this is for residential, they are own for their use. Uh, personal use, all this property is for the income purpose. Choose either one. And measure the, me measure the taken for the monitor business relation. This is ask the client if they have ever did business with all brokerage in the past five years. If they say yes, you need to check their name, address, principal, principal business, business or occupation has been changed. If they say that yes, if you ask the said so everything is remain the same, you can put uh, information here. They did business with our office, but uh, every information remain the same. If they have any information changed, you may update from here. That's quite very simple. Okay, so that is all the form. I think we finish. Or oh, the last form is called 65, uh, 35 receive funds. Receive funds the form is so, uh, once the offer firm of, uh, once the offer accept and uh, we <coughs> we give uh, once the offer accept we want to put the deposit we give a deposit to listing brokerage uh, we need to file those information and then write down the salesperson name when you give it to deposit for example offer accepted today we need to give a deposit to the leasing brokerage. We have to uh, write down all the information, date of the receive. For example, the client get the bank draft today. That's called a bank draft. And the second page, D1 is not applied because we are not uh, use D1. D2, most of the people will make a mistake and the D2. D2 is we have to choose Canadian dollars. We have to choose, ask a client which account, 
which account you purchase this bank draft from the from your client uh, your account. Most of people purchase from the checking account, but uh, this is the uh, they said the bank draft number is the account number. That's wrong. So bank draft number is not account number. So when you get the bank draft, you have to ask client which banking account, what is account number you get from the bank draft. Write down who is the bank name of account holder. Same thing. We need to put the, uh, all the information. Uh, e print. We need to print out. Oh, we need to put in the electronic authentic sign to write down the number here because this is just update you cannot type in the number here type in the number here that's it if that is called a, uh, electronic uh, EFT electronic fund transfer we have to fill the E part E okay so that is all the form we from the 801 the first form and the last form we finish and I hope you can uh, try to use condominium or lease different type of the uh, offer to try. And if you have any question, please feel free to put a comments below. And also, uh, you can contact me from 905-305-1600, our office number. If you want to print out all of those form, you can select and go to your basket. You can print out, you can save as PDF, you can email to your client. All right, so that is our uh, how to prepare the offer video. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye.